Fish my wall. Manalo, I don't like change. Don't kill me, bird cultist. of block. I don't think you can uh, not go for scrap ooze there. I only have one elite this act probably. And I have no damage so far but I have a campfire before the elite fight so kind of need to look for some sort of damage relic ideally but i found a tap bandages so this is good but twitch promise you dices and slices i'm sorry i went live with the wrong notification hopefully we will all be okay June is good. I enjoyed it. Not, not, not. Prepared should become a good card very rapidly in this deck. Sure. I can fix the mouse over thing. Extensions, my extensions. That thing, activate, done. Alright, should be there now. This is a certainly Gremlin Norb. If the bottom three were Strike Strike Glass Knife, I think I might still survive. I would be able to leg sweep, I think, with Speed Potion. Oh, yeah. Gremlin up down. I might take a Deadly Poison as well to round out my damage.
we want to rummage. With tough bandages, we're going to take anything that discards, basically. So pain's a lot less bad. I'm a little bit low. I will take a dream catcher because I'm probably resting at least once. Four is it twenty two fifteen? I'd need to deal nine next turn. Okay. And plus ten is indeed twenty one. Oh, I get it. This is inspiring. Was a joke. That was not immediately obvi obvious to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good joke, though. Great work. Great work out there. I can actually just call this one, even though it's got all the poison on it. Thank you, Iriona. Another prepared. Perfect. Out of potions. Hello. Ixtua Cowboy. Ixtua? When do we get to see the clowns? Is that a clown? Maybe that's a clown. I don't know. If you mean, what am I going to play Bellatro? The answer is when they make it a strategy game. Which unfortunately hasn't happened yet. Or possibly when I want to play an idle game. Which could happen. These sites are going quite well. Keen in the deck hasn't killed me yet. I'm gonna take footwork. I already have a dodge and roll. Dodge and roll was a whale transform. Kinda looks like I don't have to rest. I guess we do this in case it's pain. Worth it to discard pain, even if the... Yeah, I mean, I probably did it all in the wrong order, right? But, you know, whatever. You can watch the Bellatrix streams, you can't afford to get into sucked into another game right now. What were the issues with it? Uh, it's it's just like a numbers go up, flashing lights scam. I can't play those for that long. They just break my brain eventually.
it's a very perplexing game because it has all the trappings of a strategy game, but the dev very vocally doesn't want it to be a strategy game, which is just really confusing. The entire thing is bizarre. In like a this doesn't make any sense kind of way. as much sense as humans. Does it? Maybe you're right. I feel like we got some strong relics to start this run. Looks like a decent spot to be in. I have had a bunch of people shaming me for trying to think about how to play Blotcher well as a person who runs a, an online strategy game channel. So I don't know. It also doesn't seem like it really attracts the sort of people <laughs> I want to hang out with. I am very publicly paid to think about strategy games, yeah. And the intent isn't to shame me, really. The intent is to be like, you need to let us not think about strategy games, which is fine. Image, I don't think. I have tough bandages. I mean, do you really need an after image ever? But uh, I think Malaise. I think Malaise is probably better than it. You've seen people on this in chat try to shame me for the crime of using a frozen eye. Yeah. It's true. has happened in my life. So this is a little iffy. It's not, it's like mostly good. It's mostly fine. But I am now playing a run where I have both a runic pyramid and a pain. So Pain doesn't, like, leave if it's in your hand, you know? So that is a thing to be aware of. Is it allowed to spread love on this chat? Uh, works for me. Latro has generally launched, like, not really a crisis in my life, but, like, a small unpleasant in my life where I just kind of, like, I don't feel like many people who are good at strategy games and good at making strategy games at the same time exist. And I'm not sure that we are, as like a world, making it so that more of those people will exist. And as someone who loves strategy games, that just kind of makes me sad.
a really interesting way to think about it. They're very different skills. And we'll take a Catalyst with Runic Pyramid and a Deadly Poison already. Let's remove Pain. Let's grab Noxious Fumes. Do I want Outmaneuver? Kind of. Game companies need to hire more gamers like Jorbs as consultants to make strategy games good. I also, I think, balance is something for a lot of games that happens at the end after all the systems are in place, and a lot of the systems are just not balanceable. <laughs> and, like, you need to start thinking about how the systems balance each other, like, while you're designing them. You need to have, like, if I pull on this lever, it makes that lever less strong. The the gentle tug and pull of strategy gaming, you know? At least this is my opinion. People say Factorio is a good game because the devs play it in their free time. Maybe the devs just like Factorio, I don't know. Raranok, thanks to the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm wondering if I also want Poison Stab. I don't think I'm buying Outmaneuver, but it is also perhaps worth mentioning that I could buy Outmaneuver, and I'm pretty sure it would make my deck better right now. Having a high interest in game strategy and analysis is something that you've noticed is surprisingly unique for you as a game designer. So many of your peers have different specialities even when making strategy games. Well, it kind of makes sense. They are choosing to make games, not play them, so... Like, I could maybe make a good strategy game. I would need somebody else who was good at a lot of the things that I am bad at in game design, but I could perhaps... Like, I think Long War 2, for example. In Long War 2, I contributed to a good strategy game. Um, but I'm not making strategy games. I'm playing them. <laughs> uh, and I think that's, like, generally true of most people I know think about strategy games like I do, we are playing them, not making them. I don't know. There are a few instances. Like, I think Storybook Brawl was genuinely a good game. That was a game made by strategy gamers who were good at strategy games and had some people who were good at game design there as well. I don't have a piercing oil. I do have a malaise. Some of these elite fights are going to be sketchy. Burmout thinks of 32 months. When is someone going to design an RTS where you only control one builder that makes the buildings that makes fully autonomous units? Minion Masters? Sounds like Minion Masters, kind of. Not exactly, though. Anyway, uh, that already exists. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. You probably know that. I don't know.
that kind of what against the storm is? I don't know. Against the storm is a good strategy game. Maybe I should play more against the storm. I think it would be a fascinating thing to have a game that was like. developed by a group of people who then handed off to a different group of people who then handed off to a different group of people, you know? I think that would be really cool. I have to potion for this. <sighs> You've seen it done? That makes sense. I'd be dubbed. It does kind of feel like I should draw a damage card, and that would help me survive the fight. Yeah, I do have all the strikes and defense. And I did draw all of them. Like, literally all of them. Giving up on the idea of an elite fight in the next little while. You just watched the first Long War 2 VOD and you really enjoyed it, except the part where I tried to do math puns. You found it really radical how derivative most of the jokes were. I think my enjoyment of them will be exponentially increased so the jokes are more integral to the stream. Alright. I will take that feedback at face value. Well, there's only one of them left. This is a wild fight. Hey, Blasty Blue! Yes, I probably have to take a Masterful Stab. Fourteen and eight is enough. The Malaya's pick didn't really want me to take a runic pyramid. He'd love to watch a stream where he started on this fire and then handed off to someone for Act 2 and then the third person and so on. Yeah. It's 
sneaky strike as well. I'm really going kind of... I think with a fire potion and a sneaky strike, maybe I get to actually fight the elite. Beep, 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 thanks for nine months. Appreciate it. I don't know. It's hard using the deadly poison there because I want it on Gremlin Leader, don't I? I have been wrong about whether I could do this. Thank you, Invictus. I'm not sure, but I think this is okay, <laughs> but I'm not sure. We'll see how the rest of the fight goes, I guess. I don't hate getting attacked next turn. Do we just get attacked next turn? This fight is like all over the place. The relics look awesome. Yeah, use more of them. But they are good relics. They seem to have a nice rotation of games going this week. Yeah, it's been uh, a little all over the place. <laughs> I've been enjoying it, though. This was kind of the plan. And it's actually kind of nice that I made Gremlin Leader spend a turn attacking me instead of summoning or buffing there. His fumes slowly ticks up. Borg! He's at 35 months! Appreciate it. Glad I didn't get attacked this turn. What happens if I get attacked next turn? Bad things. Bad things happen. Maybe I just won't. Maybe I just won't get attacked next turn. If I do get attacked next turn, it's gonna be like. I don't know. 
not much. Let's get deadly poison. I didn't draw deadly poison. Let's stop general that. Alright, no attack. You think it knew that I played deadly poison? I was thinking this was good for me, but maybe I've actually been outplayed. <laughs> Holy shit, this fight! Self to sign. Holy shit, this fight. I think if it doesn't attack one more time, I'm good. But if it attacks next turn. Woo! <laughs> I didn't get attacked again. So my belief is that I can kill that now. It has no shield. All right. This was a wild fight. That was a wild fight in which I took like, what? How much damage did I take? Seven or something? Do you think I can block that? Honestly, not even dead. I mean, Gremlin Leader's dead, so I don't take the hit. But if I had taken the hit, not even dead. Song name is on screen. No. We got a Tungsten Rod and a Tactician. No. Yup. Down for those. Is Tactician good here? What do we think? You want to make a spreadsheet of all games ever made, and then I will fill out if I like them or not. Sure. I do take two here. It, well, I take one, right, actually? Wait, it said two, but I only took one, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, it seems fine. I think I won this fight, too. Things are looking up. Do I want to fight another elite? Kind of. Another two elites? A super elite? I don't think I'm fighting a super elite. Bouncing Flask seems kind of bad here, actually. Okay, we'll skip. Now that I have a Tactician, there is... 
a lot of value in just drawing Tactician more often. successfully didn't have every card cost three. Not always guaranteed that. How do I think the flask bounces rubber or magnet? Are those the two possible ways for something to bounce? Wait. Is the number of ways that something can bounce actually fairly limited? Glass can be bouncy? True. I feel like I've seen that. Why does something bounce? What is the scientific explanation for something bouncing? I think a deflect. This is maybe. Maybe we've reached a point where we can sapphire key over our calcum. I think so. Coefficient of elasticity. Very fancy sounding word. So can Glass Knife bounce then? I think we survived the fight. This really wasn't too bad. Maybe I got Dreamcatcher value. Possible. You can temporarily store deformation energy and then reform, which pushes you back away from the ground. Holy shit. That's that good shit. They didn't used to do that when I was a kid. Jbag exe, thanks for 39 months. I appreciate it. It is an interesting question to me. Whether I want to upgrade fumes or rest for card reward and the health, obviously. Because the fumes upgrade feels important. Does feel like good fight rewards? Oh, maybe I just go to another elite now, actually. Huh. It feels like I can just go to another elite now. Might as well use the lizard tail. Are there any words in Spanish that are distinguished by having a leaving a silent H or not? I feel like there must be.
No catalyst. Good fight. Another MLAs. I could also take a dagger throw for Gremlin Leader. Second Malaise is okay. Alright, a dagger spray, not a dagger throw. No book of stabbing. I heard about the double malaise. Decided to stay home. That is, in fact, a bar with relics on it. Arguably. You like the silent the most? I thought you liked cat girls. Were you lying to me? Accurate a sneaky strike, it's kind of interesting. Changes the turn quite a bit, actually. 11, 19, 22, 25. Hitting Survivor also does a lot. Uh, this time we got fumes down early, which is going to make the entire fight so much safer. Or not. <laughs> no, it's fine, right? I guess I can block potion here. What are my thoughts on the US suing Apple for maintaining a monopoly? Uh, as an antitrust lawyer, sorry, am I an antitrust lawyer or are you? Or are both of us? Clinothopter seems good. I don't hate another fumes. It is a bit slow, but. Some kind of dealing damage seems kind of important. I always discard it if I don't want it, I guess. We're all lawyers on the internet. Oh, well, that's nice. I didn't realize that about the internet. Every times.
I think I have arrived at it would be good to upgrade Noxious Fumes, by the way. I think if I'm taking a second Noxious Fumes that is also unupgraded, that implies I think the Noxious Fumes upgrade is pretty good. I can also upgrade the old Catalyst. I think at this stage of my life, for whatever reason, everything just seems like a transparent, like, we want to have more money than before, and I don't know if that was different when I was a kid or if I just didn't see it, but yeah. I think it would be nice to have a functional government, which passed laws that made life better for the people who lived in the country, I guess. Because I certainly don't think businesses are trying to achieve that. I think I haven't seen that many rares. When was the last time I saw a rare? Malaise? There or something? Hmm. Oh yeah, that wasn't that long ago. Hey, Steenie John! Capitalism has been around for a while. Well, I did grow up in a different country. So that might have helped a little. Does New Zealand not have capitalism? Oh, I think it's more that it has a functional government. Or at least it had a somewhat functional government when I was a kid. I can't speak to what it's like there now, really. I don't live there anymore. What about the no clocks party? It's important that they get to be there. Okay. My warped tongues are doing so much. I wonder if I'm dead without Warp Tongues. Probably. I certainly don't think I would have gotten to fight every elite in the act without Warped Tongues. I guess I didn't fight the super elite. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think I need a backflip. I have been struggling to get down to five cards in hand already, and I have two acros, which I'm honestly not playing very often. On the other hand, backflip, it's so strong. And what about when I have four energy? I can just take a backflip when I have four energy, probably. of ye old powers in my deck. End up getting no vibes from this hand.
Malaise's gone, and Noxious Fumes 2 is gone. But I got the first one down already. I think that's actually okay. Does anyone else's browser crash completely if they rapidly pause and unpause a Twitch player with the pause button in the bottom corner and then click the video player fast? Are you trying to crash your browser? <laughs> so what's happening here? You can just click the X button in the top right and it's a lot faster, probably easier. You just have to do it. Gotcha. Um, well, I don't know. I don't have to do that, so. Imagine if rapidly clicking the draw pile crashed Slay the Spire. I would not be playing Slay the Spire right now. iffy using this there. Feels like a very valuable card for later in the fight, doesn't it? That is very cruel of them to do that on purpose, deliberately to you specifically, Tuba. Friendly Shamber, thanks for the 48 months. I appreciate it. You're doing well. Nice Hyper Beam nerd. Sorry, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say that. The Hyper Beam monster. That's mean. But I mean, it shouldn't have tried to hyperbeam me, so really... I'm not the only person to blame here. I have now thought about plank time... twice in under a week, which is a new personal best for me, I think. Thank you for making me think about plank time again. For very limited values of thank you. How many times have I lost the game? What have I thought of the game this week? It sounds like you two lost the game. I'm doing fine. I'm still undefeated. A dream eye line. So Nightmare is a pretty good card. I do not have any energy. So I think I'll take Adrenaline. Alchemize is also a pretty good card. They're all pretty good. What if I took Nightmare and got a fourth energy? Well, I would win. What if I took a Nightmare and didn't get a fourth energy? Yeah, that seems bad. Let's take uh, Adrenaline, I think. Deck should be good enough. Uh, Suzu? My potions are okay. Let's make Toy Ornithopter a lot less exciting. Real monsters with the friends we made along the way. Absolutely. Hey, Foxbox.
time eater first. I have a bunch of malaises. I think I'll go this way. This looks sweet. Got a couple of upgrades at the end too. At what frequency does the brain flicker? You would have to ask Elon Musk, our lord and savior. At some point when he put microchips in people's brains, I'm sure he worked this out. You know, it's a good deck, Twitch chat. Just chugging along. I found an apotheosis. I am so into that. I am so immensely into that apotheosis. I'll also take a Dark Shackles, and that might be it. Good Instincts is okay. I need good instincts. Alright, can I remove a card for the first time this run? I transformed a defend, and then I spent the entire rest of the run only removing the pain that I added to the deck. So I still have five strikes. I think removing one of those would be nice. I honestly, like, does this even do anything? I should just buy Sneko Skull, I think. Does Sneko Skull even do anything though? I don't know if Sneko Skull does anything. Let's do this. The calculated gamble makes it worth. Okay, yeah, that's super worth. So, calculated gamble. Tactician. I think another. Acro out of those three cards. Concentrate's okay here. I do have double tactician though. I think maybe just an after image. I start kind of spamming cards now a little bit. Alright, that was a good good thing to click on. Good work, me. Buy another acro or acro. A lot of acrobatics. Oh wait. There could be anything in the RE, even a Sneko Skull. I don't think the Sneko Skull can have um can show up in an RE. I don't think that's a thing. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't know. You think I've seen everything in this game yet? Probably not. A lot of stuff in this game. Pretty card deck is not so bad if 10 cards are acrobatics. I think also not so bad if they aren't. I'm not opposed, like I'm not strongly opposed to using a potion or two here. Let's use this. Could have been better. I 
just hit this again. Okay, we hit the stuff. I found the spice. Definite Dune reference here. Lisan Al Gaib. What other good references are there from Dune? I think that might actually be it. Well, nice to get them all out of the way early in the stream. Here is the Mind Killer. I feel like they really kind of. They didn't make Fair as the Mind Killer exciting in the movies. The movies were okay. Maybe even good. They did not leave me thinking, oh my god, it's so sweet that Fear is the Mind Killer. That was not a takeaway that I had. I don't care what you believe, I believe. Is that kind of like, who do you th think you are, I am? I feel like it is. Hey, pony. Y, B, C, O, hello. Well, I could break Maw Bank for a Piercing Whale. Honestly, it's a pretty good card. I'm not going to, though. Are you a bowler or not, not, not? Bold for PE credit in high school. I did rollerblading for that, and it was fucking rad. That's not quite true. It was intermediate school. I did cross country for PE credit in high school. Because you could get your PE credit without having to take a class, and I was an overachiever. Had to be able to take AP Microeconomics. I paid four hundred dollars to do online PE. Sorry, what? It sounds like we're a failed state. <laughs> Unlucky for us. Who had 2024 in the betting pool? Someday I will play this calculated gamble and it will be so good. Now! Hiko Gaspar, thanks for 27 months. Appreciate it. Take another prepared. Prepared over acro plus. Is it reasonable? I 
mind on now. It's okay. Sundial? I mean, the deck's only 40 cards. It could happen. You don't undergrad, where you were required to do a certain number of PE credits and also know how to swim kind of to graduate, and during COVID, a bunch of us got off scot-free with clicking through a bunch of PowerPoints. You did PowerPoint PE. By clicking through PowerPoints, you mean that they provided PowerPoints to you? Like, this is how you swim? I want to see that this is how you swim PowerPoint. This is actually somewhat important to me now. Although a bunch of y'all watch me make PowerPoints about how to play Slay the Spire and think I'll make you better, so... <laughs> I'm sure it does. How could it not? Wait a second. <laughs> you forgot to kill it. <laughs> Alright, cool. This was all planned. I now have Sundial on two. I bet that's important. Ceramic fish? Flare isn't an awful card. Chat isn't here to learn, we're here to teach you. Oh, okay. What would you like to teach me next? You got an Ascension 20, Heart 3, Wind Streak with Silent. Nice less property. Uh, not easy. Not easy at all. Let's go poison cards. You know what would be cool? A burst. Gosh, burst would just send this deck into orbit right now. I wonder how many times I've killed Giant Hud. Oh fuck. I didn't really want Sundial right now. I guess I have to stack it again. Doable? It's this song! Direct address, Lucy Dacus. 
Acus? Asus? I was thinking about this song. I had, uh, like half a line from it stuck in my head earlier this week. Is it this song, or does it just sound like this song? Fuck. They all sound the same. <laughs> uh, piercing whale over reflex, I think? Yes! This verse. This verse is badass. This is the great thing about listening to music on stream. If you get a song stuck in your head and can't work out what it is, it will probably just come up on your stream at some point. I also wonder, to the point earlier about strategy games, whether a lot of the enjoyment of strategy games is learning how to be good at them, and I'm not in a place where I'm doing that as much anymore, which is not like, not because I already got as good as I can necessarily, but because of like how I them? Like, part of it is that I stream them. So there's just, like, less brain power there for me to learn a new game. It is possible that part of it is also that I'm a lot better at them than I used to be. And so the learning is not as active. Like it's a different type of learning now. When you have the answer, it's hard to work out the problem again. It's an interesting take on it. There's a lot of stuff where, like, I've already decided what sort of mechanic is most fun for me, and then if I play with a different sort of mechanic, it's like, oh, but this one's boring. Surely there must be enough strategy games that I could just find ones that have the mechanics I like, though. I'm gonna take another blur. It sounds pretty cool, Charisite. I really like Slay the Spire Dungeons. I have struggled to find other strategy games that I like recently. That has been my recent struggle. They're just like worse versions of Slay the Spire. Jorb's first-person shooter arc. Well, sometimes I like playing other sorts of games. I think the, the main thing I like the most is strategy games. 
But I don't mind playing other stuff sometimes. Why? So this mire is so good that all future games are compared against this huge milestone. That's part of it, but another part of it is that it's so influential that a huge number of future games are just kind of very derivative of it. Games have a very weird interaction with Slay the Spire. There are very few games which have, like, taken the formula of Slay the Spire, executed it close to as well as Slay the Spire while offering something new. There are games which have tried to move as far away from Slay the Spire as they can to not be Slay the Spire anymore. But the problem is that the spire is really good, <laughs> so that's not a great strategy. Um, and there are games which just feel worse than Slay the Spire. Like they, they don't offer something new. They are just a rehashing of Slay the Spire with the same thing. Monster Train did a decent job. Monster Train offered some new stuff. Um, what else has done well? Driftlands seemed like it might be good. I don't know. I didn't play enough of it. I guess if it didn't stick with me, it probably wasn't that good. I don't know. Oh, Against the Storm. Yeah, Against the Storm does a really good job of... Doing bite-sized um, RTS with pause kind of vibe. There are billions. There's a bit of that too. There are games out there for sure. Playing Tuhu, nice. Cobalt Core looked like it might be good. I don't think I played Reach Wanderers. I did not like Wild Frost. I absolutely will not play Slice and Dice. That game just doesn't. No, no, absolutely. <laughs> I tried to play Slice and Dice on stream a bit last night. Not for me. This fight might actually be kind of hard. We'll see. We'll see what happens when the deck gets going. I drew Apotheosis turn one. to make a strategy card game without having played a video game in a decade, so they stumble into completely new territory. See, that's the thing, though. If anybody tries to do that, and there are people who have tried to do things kind of like that, they run into stuff which is just like, oh, Slay the Spire already solved this design problem. Like, maybe we need somebody who hasn't played games in 10 years to team up with Casey and Anthony. <laughs> like, they bring the vision and Casey and Anthony make the game. Maybe that's what I need. It's 
someone who simply hasn't played ever. What is a video game? One thing you like from Slice and Dice that other games should pick up is undo non-random actions makes a lot of math obsolete. Yeah, but, like, it doesn't... See, this is, I think, a thing that is just different between me and a lot of people who play strategy games. I would like to enjoy thinking about what I should do. Um, and that is what's fun for me about these games. And so if you create a game which allows me to spend time enjoyably thinking about what I should do, I will probably like it a decent amount. But if your game, like, like what Slice and Dice does is it has an interface that's like pretty hard to read and it gives you an undo button. Like in Slay the Spire, I almost never have to undo my turn, right? Because the interface is readable. There's a there's another part to it. There's um that I have played nine thousand hours of Slay the Spire, and so Slay the Spire is going to feel more comfortable to me than basically any other game, which is very unfair to other games. It is very unfair to other games. Backpack Battles was the most surprisingly good game for you last year. That's another one where, like, I don't know, like, the the process of thinking about how to organize my stuff in my bag just isn't fun. And then at Auto Battles, ugh. Auto Battling is just, ugh, ugh. ugh. Like, like I just have to sit and watch? Let me click the buttons. I would rather play, like... Okay, okay, honestly. Honestly, though, this is actually an observation. People talk to me like I am out of my mind when I play out an infinite that takes 10 minutes in a run of Slay the Spire. Like, how can you possibly play a run of Slay the Spire where you're just going through the motions without your inputs actually being important for 10 minutes at the end. Like, like this is just like an unthinkable thing. And teamfight tactics... Twitch... Teamfight tactics... Teamfight tactics currently has 31,000 viewers. In teamfight tactics, in every game, you spend like 50% of your time watching things happen and not giving any input. <laughs> playing TFT on your phone right now. It is unsurprising to me that you need a stream to watch to keep you entertained while you do that. <laughs> oh. Super Auto Pets is actually pretty good. It is hilarious to me how much, like, whether I think an auto battler is good or not is about whether the battles themselves are parsable with the speed set to max. In backpack battles, I don't find the battles to be parsable with speed set on max, so I think the game is shit. <laughs> 
since you brought up that's idea, so I think it's fine. <laughs> Have I heard of chess? I play chess. I play chess. I don't play it on stream, but I have an ongoing battle against one of my friends that I play every time I'm on the bus or whatever. Chess is a good game. Playing Baldur's Gate 3 while you have the stream on. Baldur's Gate 3 can also be pretty slow sometimes. I tried to get into Battle Brothers and couldn't. When I think about Blantra's UI UX, it is not built to help you think about how to play Blantra. I'm just gonna upgrade Gamball so I can play it first time through the deck and not lose it. Because it's like decent to have for later in the fight, right? Seems like it would be. Palace is usually good. Just go Footwork Piercing Whale well, or Card Remove a Strike. I think I have enough card to discard. Footwork Piercing Whale well is fine. You won a chess tournament in fifth grade and accidentally cheated to win it. Hey. Good work doing what it takes. I survived turn two. Wait. Was my plant a leg sweep? I feel like I needed the deadly poison. Oh. I mean, it works. What about that indie game called Darkest Dungeon or something? You heard it got a secret recently. <laughs> hey, ones to a... Uh... Yeah. I think that's why you like watching XCOM so much. It feels like every click matters a little bit by improving odds slightly. Even Spire's runs you just already won, but in XCOM, you can always take a random wound. XCOM is a game that is very intentionally built to try to let you make interesting decisions in a game of XCOM. I think that that is largely true. There is the weird shit with, like, the direction the game has taken. Now that we live in the future and can see what they did next with the IP. But yeah, it's, like, pretty good. XCOM's okay. Darkest Dungeon is also okay. I... I don't think that Darkest Dungeon 2 is necessarily a bad game. Um, but it sure didn't grasp me. Darkest Dungeon isn't really a Jorps game? Huh? Like so much Darkest Dungeon.
Looks like I played 332 hours of Darkest Dungeon. I think Darkest Dungeon 2 was a miss. It was bound to fail due to how good Darkest Dungeon 1 was. Couldn't they have just made the things that were good about Darkest Dungeon 1 more good? Here's a thought. Here's a thought, actually. Do you think, like, the people who like games for a long period of time are different from the people who like games for a little while? And so, if you have a game which is loved by a group of people who have been playing it for, like, eight years or whatever, and then you release a new game, there's just kind of no possible way for it to go well. Because, <laughs> like, you're going to make a bunch of new people go check out the game. Because it's like, it's a sequel to a much beloved game. And then they're going to be like, well, this game isn't that good because we don't like the things about that game. But then the people who were lasting fans of the series are going to be like, what the fuck? You made it so we have to drive a caravan around for some reason. Why'd you do that? I don't... I don't know. Age of Empires seems to have done fine. I can't decide if Diablo has done well or not. I felt like Diablo 3 eventually found the fun. Diablo 4 does not know where the fun is, though. I haven't played it for a while. Maybe they patched it. Kind of happened with Age of Empires 2 was so good that 3 was bound to be shit. Huh. Okay. Everyone you talk to about Diablo says something like Path of Exile slash other spinoff is better, but then Diablo 3 and 4 still have millions and millions of sales. I, I think it's kind of a similar thing. Um... The people who get really into that genre of games want something different from what Diablo is. But there are tons and tons of people who just want to play Diablo. I tried playing Path of Exile for a bit. I didn't get into it. Oh. Power. Skill. Attack. Oh wow, you are not... Poor heart. <laughs> not having the best day right now. We'll open the talents tree and quit. <laughs> that wasn't it for Path of Exile. That wasn't what made me close it. It was that I had to click the potion button repeatedly to run faster. Like... Like, if your game's about killing enemies and I find out very quickly that you have put a button in it, which I just have to click non-stop, And that's how I'm going to kill the enemies faster. Like, you just lose me as a player immediately. If you have made that choice with the, the central gameplay loop, I'm just going to go play a different game. <laughs> I...
I don't know if I'm expressing it as well as I could. There are like, there are major red flags in games for me sometimes, right? One of them is if the interface doesn't tell me something that I clearly need to know to make the decision about how to play my turn. If I clearly need to know something to play my turn and the interface isn't telling me it, I'm like, oh, this game is not built for me. <laughs> um, it is built perhaps by people who aren't me, who were trying to build a game for me, but they don't know what they're doing, or it's built by people who want something different from what I want, which is fine. <laughs> but if I notice something like that, I will very rapidly stop wanting to play the game because like almost certainly they're going to follow a bunch of other decisions on how the game is made, which are going to be very similar in how they feel to me as a player. And when Path of Exile made it so I had to spam the potion button to run faster, like very early on in leveling, I was like, oh, this is not fun. <laughs> and I guess other things are probably not going to be fun if this exists this early in the game. Have I ever played a Valkyria Chronicles game? I have not. But the potion button was rebound to a mouse button. You have to like click it at a certain speed or something too? I don't know. Certainly making it autocast would be better. I mean, that's what I was looking for, for to just autocast mostly, I think. PoE is just POB simulator. I'll be honest, I don't know what POB is. Oh shit, I forgot my talk. Oh no. I forgot to do my talk. I forgot to do my talk. We defeated the heart though. With the silent. Uh, it was a good run. We can't open the deck, but it was 46 cards. And uh, oh my god. This is the worst short I've ever made, because also I don't have the spreadsheet captured and I don't have my webcam on. This is like... This short is performance art, I think. Look, it was a very easy silent run. Also, I didn't write my Watcher or uh, Ironclad lost down last... Anyway, it was such an easy silent run that I completely turned my brain off, started talking about other things, and forgot that I was meant to... <laughs> <laughs> to do this. So, uh, GG, well played. Um, Runic Pyramid, Tough Bandages, and Warp Tongs early. Uh, Act 2 was actually a little iffy. Anyway, GG. The worst clip I've ever recorded. <laughs> Zero damage heart fight. Nice.